أما بعد الله سبحانه وتعالى in a very short chapter of the Quran سورة العصر gives us a really a comprehensive grounding to both our circumstances and what is asked of us. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala swears by the time or gives an oath wal asr. And in the Quran Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uses oath in for many things, both in terms of the world and also swearing by the uh, age of the Prophet وسلم, which is the only time that Allah swears by the name or by a human being in relation to the Prophet So Allah in here is using the vow of oath wal asr and commentators have reflected what is this oath by means of time and then saying wal asr inna al insana lafi khus that verily the human being is in a process or in a whole path of diminishment. And in places Allah swears by the sun, washamsi wa duhaha, in places that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala swears by wastini wa zaytun, by the fig and the olive. So it is not surprising that Allah has no limits on what elements that He draws our attention to. So Wal Asr in here is reminding us, commentator said, is for us to reflect back on human history. And in essence, often we are forgetful of what took place before us. Because we think that we are the it factor, not the ice cream, but that we are full of ourselves. And in essence, we continue to repeat the same mistakes that other human beings have committed. Allah is saying to us, reflect upon all those who came before you. But also some would say, it's also what Asr is also, Allah is reminding us of what is it that we have. Our capital in this world is our age. And you have the, for those who are in business, you have your capital, your investment, right? And then you have the profit, the return. Allah gave you your age. And from the moment of birth, you are just what you call having withdrawing from your principle. Right? So it's a wal asr inna al insan because it's also a moment for us to reflect upon that we celebrate our birthdays. Right? And here I'm not talking about the halal and haram all it, but reminding that I was born so and so. Your celebration is basically you are departing one part of your life. Allah is swearing by wal asr inna al insana lafi khus. But then he creates an exception to those illa ladina aman. That human beings are in a state of diminishment, or also those who came before us are in a state of diminishment, except those who have faith. Illa ladina aman. Both in the past as well as ourselves. You are diminishing unless you are from those people who have faith. But did not leave it at faith. Illa amanu and immediately amilu salihat. So faith and acting upon the faith. Because it's not enough to say, I am mu'min but it does not reflect on your limbs, on your actions, on your thoughts, on your relationship, on your family, on your community, that faith that you are articulating. Because in essence it's a, what you call being faithful but not reflecting the faith that you have in it. So for example, we fear poverty. That's a lack of faith. But it's also a lack of faith in relations to your actions in the world. Because Allah has guaranteed for you your risk. So having faith in Allah, that Allah will give you your risk, right? But all what you need to do is also to go out 
and act in according to faith in the world. Not to cut corners, not to uh, step on other people, not to violate in your action the faith that you have in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So our faith asks us to actually act upon faith. Right? So our faith is, in essence you could say, our faith requires for us to be really connected to the world in order to actualize faith in our actions. And therefore people look and say, MashaAllah, this is a mu'min that their action reflect their iman. That they do good deeds or manifest the good deeds. But it's difficult. What the loss of the hub, what the loss of the sub. The verb that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala used is tawasu, which is if you studied Arabic, is one of those verbal patterns or pattern six, which is a reciprocal relationship. That there has to be two parties into the verbal structure. And it says, meaning that counseling each other to that which is good, that which is just, that which is true, that which is veracity. So I need to remind you, and you need to remind me of that which is haq. Again, part of the problem in societies is that people begin to be shy to say to that which is wrong, wrong. And begin to do what's called mudahada, meaning that it just because somebody is important, we're not going to tell them that the emperor has no clothes. Why? Because we think that there is something to be gained. So you need to remind me of what is good, what is hap, and I need to remind you what is hap. That is what Allah is asking you. What what the fa'al. And to remind me of that which is wrong. Because in here it's a communal right, activity that brings justice to the society. It's not an individual. I'm just going to contemplate what hub is in my home. Right? And leave so on, so on, so on, so on, not reminded. But also, that deen, our deen is about counsel. Which is also, if you see somebody that you want to give them counsel, don't go on YouTube and try to give counsel. That's not counsel, that's arrogance. You're trying to put yourself that you are the know-it-all, and you're trying to put the faults of others. Or you put it on Instagram, Twitter, social media, or you get up in a khutbah and give a whole spiel about so-and-so. The Prophet ﷺ never mentioned individual by name. You say that why people do this and this. So if you have a counsel that you want to give to somebody in help or to move them away from that which is wrong, you need to be a person that is covetous of maintaining the cohesion of the community. Right? And I know these days what you call, we think the iman and amal and tawasa bil haq is about likes and shares on social media. And the fact that you have more shares and more likes in social media, meaning that you have more hub to your side. Right? Isn't that what it is? Oh. And you say, I have fans. Or I have what you call, I'm, I'm what you call a person that have social impact. I'm an influencer. Influencer for what? Again, I'm not critiquing using social media, but if you want to say, Tawasaw bil haq, you have to find a way because you want to build with the person, you don't want to chase him away. Right? So we need to counsel each other in order to be cohesive as a community. In the hub. And it's a reciprocal. You need to be open to taking critique, constructive critique. And you need to be able to give constructive critique. And then what the loss of the sub. Allah is asking us also to counsel each other in patience because staying on haq is difficult. Staying in haq is difficult. I need to build you up and you need to build me up in sabr. Right? Well, the of the they counsel each other to be patient because being on standing firm on haq 
standing firm on truth, especially, and you know, especially around your own family, right? That is the most difficult thing. Because we are able to go out there and give what you call the most eloquent defense of Haq. And then we come back into our own, own what you call tribe, family, community, and we just become silent. Alright, isn't that the, the case? That is it. The one that forces to you are often the ones that you are often not able to express your uh, help with them and also how to express your patience. So what Allah saw the suffering, the other verse of the Quran Allah says, Basbiru wa sabiru. That be patient and also be doubly patient, sabiru, because the other or the wrong is that they always pressure you. So you have to also persevere. So that's, sabr is a really a commodity that is very lacking in many of our practices these days. And again, I'm not here for rant, ranting you, I'm trying to make you feel bad, but to counsel myself first and you of what are the things that we can reflect upon, right, in both our community, our family, and our society as we reflect upon Surah Al-Asr and more so because we're facing a pandemic. Many of us are saying how difficult it is, right, for a, we're almost coming to one year, right, and people are losing it. Just think of the Prophet Sallallahu three years embargo in Sha'ab Mecca outside of him being, having an embargo and a siege on him by the Mecca for three years with no food, limited uh, supplies coming in, nobody's allowed to go in, nobody's allowed to go out, no marriage, no relations whatsoever. Right now we're complaining, oh, this is so difficult. Oh, let me get an Uber and order food more. Let me put in DoorDash and get food in here. Let me go and load up from Whole Food or Whole Wallet to get me all what I need. And then we express like a lack of patience and everything is available to us. We're just being asked to do limited things in order to improve the collective conditions. So tawasa bil haq wa tawasa bil sabr. Sabr is one of the most difficult commodities. Really, it's very difficult. Right? And therefore, in this short chapter of the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is give us this reminder. Aqulu qawli hada wa astaghfirullah ni wa lakum astaghfirullah. الحمد لله نحمده ونستعين به ونستغفره ونتوب إليه وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله أرسله بالهدى ودين الحق ليظهره على الدين كله ولو كره المشركون. So I counsel myself and you to take time seriously to reflect upon our main investment in this world that Allah has given us which is our time our age and to put it into good use to counsel each other, for us to build uh, each other on help, on truth, on veracity, not to berate or push each other out, but rather to build each other, because truth is empowered when a collectivity is acting upon it and reminded it. Shaitan pursues the one that is isolated by themselves, so in here what we need is to collectively empower ourselves on advocating and being on behind and standing for truth and to practice patience in all of our affairs right? and not to be people that immediately lose it or turn to anger and I know that in some corners I'm very familiar with my Arab brothers and sisters where you go from 0 to 80 in terms of anger there isn't even a stop much faster than a Tesla in terms of anger that's just really completely defeat but the whole notion of sabr, which is the ability to actually reflect and hold yourself more so than the moment of anger and the moment of difficulties, inshallah. اللهم إني داع فأمنوا اللهم اهدنا في من هديت وعافنا في من عافيت وتولنا في من توليت وبارك لنا فيما أعطيت وقنا واصرف عنا بالخير شر ما قضيت فإن خذ فيه الخير ولا يبقى عليه 
فإنه لا يوجد من ولي تباركنا ربنا وتعالي ربنا ردنا للإسلام ردا جميلا ربنا ردنا للإسلام ردا جميلا ربنا ردنا للإسلام ردا جميلا اللهم يا مقدم القلوب ثبت قلوبنا على طاعتك اللهم أرنا الحق حقا وزبنا اتباعا وأرنا الباطل باطلا وزبنا شنابا يا رب العالمين اللهم ارحم المسلمين والمسلمات الأحياء منهم والأموات يا رب العالمين اللهم ارحم المسلمين والمسلمات الأحياء منهم والأموات يا رب العالمين اللهم ارحم المسلمين والمسلمات الأحياء منهم والأموات يا رب العالمين اللهم اشف مرضى المسلمين جميعا يا رب العالمين اللهم اشف مرضى المسلمين جميعا يا رب العالمين اللهم اشف مرضى المسلمين يا رب العالمين اللهم جنبنا هذا الوباء اللهم جنبنا هذا الوباء اللهم جنبنا هذا الوباء وآخر دعوانا الحمد لله رب العالمين وأقم الصلاة إن الصلاة تنهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر الغني يعظكم لعلكم تذكرون